Now that we have learnt how to set a scene for our game, we want to have this character run around this field and pick up some coins. We need to actually make the coins and then we need to place them into our world for our character to pick up. Because our coins are a sprite, the first place we start is in the sprites category. We need to make our coin first. So we're going to set our sprite. We're going to go into the gallery. There's a coin in here. Just next to the fish, we're going to click that and click done. And now if we look at this line of code, we can see that there's a bunch of problems with it. So we need to make sure that we fix this up. So we're making a coin sprite not our character, so I click on character, which is a drop down menu, and we'll see here that we've got some options. This is going to list every variable that we're using in the game so far, and then give us some options to make a new one, to give the current one a new name, or just to delete it. We want to make a new one, and we want to call it coin. So we're almost there, but again I always recommend read the line of code out to yourself and see if you can see if it makes sense. So for example, set coin to sprite of kind player. Well we know that it's not a player because we're playing as the gentleman here. If we click on player, we have a list of types now and this is important to remember. We can assign a type to our sprite. And the first and most obvious one is we tell the, the sprite that we're playing as to be a player. But what we're going to do is we're going to tell the coin that we're making here to be the type food. Now food doesn't always mean what you have for lunch. In a game, food is something that you can collect or something that you can consume. It could be a heart for more life. It could be a magic potion. It could be the coins that we go around and pick up and collect and to try and get points. So we're going to set the coin, pick the picture of the coin, and we're going to make sure that it is of the kind of food. You'll notice that when our game loads here on the left that our player sprite and our coin sprite are in the same spot, or they're actually taking up the same position. So we're going to set our player to start over here on the left when our game starts and we're going to set our coin to start somewhere over here on the right hand side. Because we're moving, changing and manipulating sprites, it's all under the sprites category. And we'll see here there's a block that we want to use, set my sprite position to. We'll drag that in and we'll see just by reading this out that we're currently setting our character's position and we're setting it to X0 and Y0. And you might notice that something's happened now when we start our game. Our player is all the way up here in the top left hand corner, but our coin is still in that default position in the middle. Let's have a look at why that might be. We can set our position on the X and Y axis, so up, down, left and right, by typing in whatever number that we like or whatever number we feel is correct. But we can click on these numbers and that gives us a little diagram of our screen and when I move the mouse around it's actually telling us where the X and Y position is and what the X and Y numbers are. So if I want to start our player character to the left but maybe more to the bottom left have a look at where the lines meet. That cross point is where the character is going to start. And we can cl click on this and we'll see that the X equals 21 and the Y equals 95 will automatically be put in there for us. And then when our game reloads, it's where it was in the diagram. But there's more than one way to actually place a sprite. Maybe we don't know exactly what the numbers are going to be, but we understand where on the screen we would like it to be. So we can actually use mathematics to determine where that position is going to be. We want to move the coin so that when it starts, it's about halfway down, 
here, but about three quarters of the way across. Under scene, it says here, screen width and screen height. This will give us the number for the total width of the screen and the number for the total height of the screen, which means we don't have to actually memorize them. And all of our math functions are under the math category and we've got plus, minus, times, divide. So what we're going to do now that we've made our coin is we're going to set our coin position. Sprites, find the set my sprite position and make sure that it's the coin that we're going to be changing. So click on character, it'll bring up a drop down menu of all of our variables. We've got set, coin is the one that we want to change. And again, you'll notice it says X0, Y0. So when the game reloads, it's now our coin that's up in the top left hand corner. But we want to go about halfway down the total height of the screen and about three quarters of the way across the total width of the screen. And we're going to use math to do that. So to get halfway down, we're actually going to times the full height of the screen and I'll go through this again for you but we're dragging across and locking screen height into the first number for our maths equation here. So it's going to say screen height times and if we want to go halfway down then we times it by a half or 0 0.5. Now it's at x0, we know 0, it starts at 0, so it's all the way over to the left hand side, but now it's saying go halfway down the full height of the screen, which is here. So if we want to go three quarters of the way across the entire width of the screen, how might we do that? Well, we're going to stick with timesing and we're going to stick with fractions because fractions help us understand percents. So let's bring across our times and put it into the X. And we're going to have something times something. We're working with our screen width. So scene, find screen width, click, hold and drag. And this part here, I'll go slow, hover over where you want it to go. And you're gonna have two red dots and a yellow line showing you which one of these spots it's going to land in. We specifically want it to land in this first zero here. So we let go. And if we want to go three quarters of the way across the entire width, what's that in percent? That's 75%. And so if we're dealing it in fractions, we want to times our entire screen width by 0 0.75. And when our game loads, it's exactly where we want it to be. Even though we had no idea what the actual numbers were, we knew we wanted it halfway down and about three quarters of the way across.